So let's start with a big question. We are going all in on AI, right? It's running more and more of our world. But here's the thing. Can we actually trust it? I don't mean with your shopping list. I'm talking about our biggest secrets or most critical systems. It's a huge deal. And today, we're going to dig into it. All right, to really wrap your head around just how massive this is, you got to follow the money. And wow, by 2025, we're on track to spend $580 billion a year on data centers, you know, the actual physical brains of AI. Now, to put that into perspective, that's more than what the entire planet spends hunting for oil. Yeah, this isn't just some trend, folks. This is a full-blown revolution. And hey, this isn't just about making sure your video calls don't freeze up. No, no, no. Think about all the invisible stuff, the systems humming along in the background that you never even think about. The stock market, right? Trading in the blink of an eye. The power grid that's, you know, keeping our lights on right now. The water flowing to our homes. All of that, it's all being handed over to this new AI infrastructure. But here's the flip side. For every amazing opportunity, there's a threat. And that same brilliant intelligence we're using to build our world, it's now being turned around and used as a weapon to tear it down. Just get this, those super realistic, scarily convincing scam emails, the ones powered by AI, they're now 54% more likely to work. Let that sink in. More than half the time, these sophisticated attacks are hitting their mark. And that right there, that's the central problem, isn't it? AI is this incredible double-edged sword. On one hand, it could solve some of our biggest challenges. On the other, it could create disasters we've never even imagined. It's a tool and it's a weapon, all rolled into one. Okay, so what gives? Why are we so exposed all of a sudden? Well, it really all comes down to one big problem. The experts have a name for it, the context gap. Think of it like this. Our old security tools, they're pretty good at spotting one-off problems. You know, a red flag pops up here, an alarm bell rings over there, but it's like they're trying to solve a massive puzzle by looking at just one tiny piece at a time. They just can't see the whole picture. So they might spot a weird login attempt, sure, but what they miss is that the login came from the CFO's laptop, which just connected to that sketchy free Wi-Fi at the airport. You see, they're seeing the individual puzzle pieces, but they're completely missing the story. And this turns security into this frantic race against the clock. The bad guys are using AI to connect those dots super fast. And frankly, our defenders are struggling to keep up. So the billion dollar question for pretty much every organization right now is this, how on earth do you see the entire attack taking shape before it's too late? Well, what if the answer was to fight fire with fire, or in this case, fight AI with a smarter, better AI? This is where things get really interesting. There's a company called Visium Technologies, and they're working on a totally new approach with their platform, True Context. And honestly, it could be a game changer. So the secret sauce here is something called agentic AI. Now, don't worry about the jargon. Just think of it like this. Most AI is like a really, really good calculator. You ask a question, it spits out an answer. Agentic AI is different. It's more like a partner, a teammate. You can give it a big, complex goal, something like, hey, figure out every single way our company could get hacked. And it doesn't just give you an answer. It actually thinks, it plans, and it goes out and executes that plan all by itself. And here is where it really gets to the heart of that trust problem we talked about. This slide nails it. For the longest time, AI has been a black box. You know the deal. Data goes in, a decision comes out, but how it got there? Total mystery. It's like a car with the hood welded shut. As long as it's running, fine. But the second it breaks down, you've got no clue why. Visium's whole idea is to build a glass box instead. You can see the inner workings. So let's look at this comparison. The black box gives you unexplainable decisions. The glass box, total explainability. The black box can hallucinate, literally just make stuff up. The glass box grounds every single decision in verifiable facts. It's a huge shift. We're moving from a world where you just have to assume you can trust the AI to one where you can actually prove it. Okay, so the whole glass box idea sounds fantastic, right? But how does it actually pull it off? What's happening under the hood that lets it connect all those dots and solve that context gap? Well, it boils down to this really powerful four-step process. First, it just sucks in data from everywhere imaginable, your cloud, all your different security software, even the little IoT sensors on a factory floor. Step two, and this is where the magic really happens, it uses what's called graph technology to map out how everything is connected to everything else. Seriously, picture one of those detective shows with a giant cork board and all the red string connecting photos. Imagine that, but for your entire organization, and it's built in a matter of seconds. Then, for step three, it uses that incredible map to predict all the different paths an attacker could take. 
And finally, step four, it can actually take action to shut those paths down. But, and this is key, with human-aligned guardrails. All that means is a person is always in the driver's seat setting the rules of engagement. And you have to understand, the implications here are way bigger than just protecting some company's servers or quarterly profits. This is about protecting the very foundations of our society. I mean, just look at these use cases. These are the areas where a black box AI messing up is just not an option. We're talking about our power grids, our water supply, the smart city tech that keeps traffic flowing, even the supply chains for critical minerals. These are the systems we all depend on every single day. There's no room for error. And of course, where there's a need this big, there's a massive opportunity. The entire AI market is expected to be worth something like $1.3 trillion by 2029. That's just a staggering number. But here's the thing. I don't think the winner in this space will be the company with the smartest AI. I think it's going to be the company with the most trustworthy AI. That's the real prize. And this idea is summed up perfectly by Visium CEO Mark Lucky. He says they're not just trying to build a better AI. They're trying to pioneer a whole new category of it. And I love this quote. He says it's a world where explainability isn't a feature, it's the foundation. Think about that. That one shift in thinking, that trust isn't an add-on, it's the starting point, that could be the difference between an AI that helps humanity and one that, well, doesn't. So, it all leaves us with this one critical question to think about. In a world where AI is making more and more of the big decisions for us, managing our money, protecting our borders, driving our cars, what's the one thing we absolutely cannot compromise on? Is it speed? Is it power? Or is it something much more basic? As AI makes more decisions for us, is transparency the ultimate feature? Maybe it has to be.